Hello everyone, how are you today? So last video I discussed about the pituitary gland uh, hormones. So today I'm going to discuss about the pituitary gland disorder. So in this uh, pituitary gland, there is anterior pituitary gland disorder. So hyperpituitarism and hypopituitarism. So in this, uh, we know like pituitary gland hormone, growth hormone, adrenocorticotrophic hormone, thyroid stimulating hormone, prolactin hormone, follicle stimulating hormone, lutecinizing hormone. So firstly, we discuss about the pituitary gland hormone growth hormone. So if there is increased growth hormone, there can be a term gigantism that is in child and uh, acromegaly in uh, adult. So there is enlargement of hand, feet and face. And also in hypopituitarism, there will be dwarfism. There will be like a um, low, like a physical growth will be um, less than the average growth. So in the child, it can ha uh, happen. So next is the adrenal corticotrophic hormone. So adrenal corticotrophic hormone is uh, when there is a hyperpituitarism, that is a Cushing disease. So in this, what happened like in the Cushing disease, uh, there is cortisol increase and in the Addison disease, there will be less cortisol level. So if there is in Cushing disease, cortisol will be high. So cortisol help in fat and carbohydrate metabolism and insulin will be released. So then it there will be more uh, craving for the salt uh, uh, food. So that's why there will be high blood glucose level and high blood pressure. But there will be opposite in that Addison disease. Uh, and there will be, we can say, obesity, there will be vessel weeks and in Addison disease. So this is uh, opposite to the Cushing disease, Addison disease is opposite. So next is thyroid stimulating hormone. Thyroid stimulating hormone, we know like if there is a low thyroid stimulating hormone, that means there is hyperthyroidism. So hyperthyroidism, there can be goiter, there can be increased metabolic rate, heart rate and blood pressure. And it's opposite to the hyper uh, hypoptosurism uh, because in that uh, if there is thyroid stimulating hormone will be high then it can cause the hypothyroidism then uh, it can cause the uh, BMR basal metabolic rate will be low heart rate will be low blood pressure will be low and blood uh, um, basal metabolic rate also is low so why this happened because our thyroid glands helps in the metabolism and maintenance of the heart rate and blood pressure so these also like if there is increased thyroid or decreased thyroid level it's also can kind of affect it so next uh, is prolactin hormone. Prolactin hormone causes amenorrhea. And uh, uh, like uh, and if there is a prolactin hormone is uh, uh, low, then it can cause the two liter milk excretor after the pregnancy. So after that follicle stimulating hormone, lutecinizing hormone. In the last video, I also discussed about the follicle stimulating hormone and lutecinizing hormone. That is helping for uh, uh, fertility. And if it's low or high, it can cause the infertility in both cases. So next is intervention. So if there is hyperpituitarism, then we need to be go for the um, like surgery. We need to be uh, go for the removal of the pituitary gland. But in the hypo, we need to go for the uh, hormone replacement. So if there is a uh, intervention, we need. I, I always uh, already discussed about the hyper. In hyper, we need to go for surgery, and hypo, we need to go for the replacement of the hormones. So hypo uh, is a removal of the uh, like a pituitary gland because there there may be tumor or maybe there is a um, like a, um, because of accidental uh, there is a we need to be go for removal of the pituitary gland there is a, some uh, we can say overgrowth and uh, there we need to be go for the hypophysiotomy so in this surgery we need to be mainly take care like uh, there can be complication can occur like there can be bleeding meningitis and uh, cerebrospinal fluid can increase so there is a anaphylax question when uh, like we need to be uh, like uh, we don't need to be too much bend and we don't need to be cough and uh, sneeze after the surgery because it can increase the intracranial pressure. So uh, if there is a hypophysectomy and we need to be make sure like uh, um, don't uh, go for the tooth uh, like uh, do the toothbrush like uh, we need to be go for the gentle floss for the uh, brushing the teeth. And uh, um, uh, in the hypophysectomy also, we if there is any uh, drainage from the nose, we need to check for the uh, uh, like uh, CSF fluid because it can it can uh, lead to be uh, uh, cerebrospinal fluid leakage and uh, also ICP increase. So these are all about the hyperpituitarism and hypopituitarism. And uh, so at the last, please like and subscribe my channel and see you next video.